What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today, we are continuing with the GTA 6 tutorial series, and in this episode, we will start creating our city. With that said, it's going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is import the city sample buildings asset. It is free from Epic themselves, so simply go ahead and add this into your Epic Games library from Fab. I will be linking it in the description. Once in Fab, you're gonna simply go to the Fab library, search for the category, search for asset, and then add it into the GTA series project. It should be very straightforward. Now have in mind that it is 15 gigs. So it does take some space, but it's gonna be worth it because it's gonna be, you know, so, so cool. It's gonna have so much detail. You're gonna be, you know, building a GTA city essentially, right? So go ahead and add this into your project. Once it has been added into the project, let's go ahead and open the demo building, right? The demo map where we can see kind of, of you know, the skyscrapers, the buildings and everything. So if we go ahead, you can see that we have a new folder, which is CD sample buildings. And if we open this up and then go to map, we have two. Now let's all go ahead and just open the lineup reference. And the thing is that with this, you know asset we don't have a full demo map where a whole city you know is built we only have kind of like a reference where we have you know a few buildings listed up right the same goes for the other level right so this is cool because what we can do is build our own city which is going to be a bit more you know entertaining let's say so let's go ahead and get started by creating a new level and setting everything up so let's go up into file new level and create a basic level let's hit create and right over here let's go ahead and simply move something around just a bit that way we can now save it and let's go to content and we should have a levels folder and let's put this here to be around cd okay so now we have this new player start this new brand new level so let's go ahead and make sure that the game mode is what it is so let's go into world settings and in the game mode override let's set this to be gm single player so now when we press play you can see that we have the whole gta game mode going on with our character and essentially everything is working so let's go ahead and start creating a simple cd so let's go ahead and delete this ground go into the selection mode and changes it to be the landscape mode so let's go ahead and create a new landscape Make sure that enable edit layers is enabled and we can leave the material useful now on none and then everything by default we can just hit create. And there we go. After some seconds we have a bland little landscape. So let's get also the player start mode up. Press end on your keyboard and maybe we can put it in a better position. There we go. That will work. Okay, so now we have a huge landscape to work on. So it is time to bring the buildings so what I recommend to do is to open up the sample buildings folder map and open up the lineup map once again right the one that has all the buildings and what we can simply do is take an overview and literally you know get all the reference buildings now you can see that they are kind of blueprint packages which is really cool so this enables us to literally just drag a whole building into our level and now I just build piece by piece so let me go ahead and right click on the reference buildings folder and under select, let's click on imitate children. So we are essentially selecting all the children. Now let's go ahead and press Ctrl C and then under file, recent levels go to our CD map. And then click on the outliner and press Ctrl V. And after some seconds, there we go. We have the whole folder added into our project and therefore we have all the buildings. Now, right now, of course, it looks awful. We just have them as a straight line. And of course, we need to build an actual CD. So, you know, I'm going to go very, very simple in this and simply start to place them, you know, randomly kind of, let's say, on our, you know, map. Now, if you want to make the map bigger, you can on the landscape to, you know, section from the beginning, right? But in this case, I want to leave a smaller map because it's going to be easier for us to kind of build around. Now, right now, you will see that I'm simply kind of temporarily just placing everything 
inside of the square, right? But it's not necessarily gonna be on this, you know, let's say order or location, right? For each building, this is gonna use real quick adding some buildings onto my landscape. So it starts to get the feeling of a, you know, CD. But of course, there's some things gonna be like, you know, that we need to do left, right? So let's go ahead and drag a few more aspects over here you can see that it's actually gonna be a you know big city to to fill in you know it's not nothing crazy so let's go ahead and put everything here and there we go there we go there we go okay there we go so we are having the city over here and kind of place everything like this okay so of course guys remember this episode is the beginning of the creation you know it's not the complete cd right that's impossible you know i mean that would take us a whole master class so i'm just simply going ahead and you know placing some buildings and honestly i'm gonna just duplicate some existing ones i don't really mind you know having duplicates it's really you know a tutorial series for education so it doesn't matter if you know anything is he's not perfect right there you go so around this will make sense you know we can place this kind of like here and we'll have like two main straights right running like an uh you know u if we see from here right it's like an u so i guess that the player start right now is totally you know around building so let me put this right here and once i press play you can see that we have a cool city to explore and yeah it does look way better from our ground view as you can see right it's a total different experience now you can see that the lighting is actually you know all enabled and it's kind of looking cool but it doesn't match right it's uh, right now daytime so let's make it nighttime because i think that in this map it will look really cool at nighttime you know kind of that night gta online vibe you know what i mean so let's go to the lighting folder and select the directional light and over here let's set the intensity to around 0.2 now everything darkens but after a few seconds it kind of starts glowing and it's just super ugly you know so the thing is that we need to control the exposure and we can do this by adding a new post process volume into our level so if we go into the quickly add to the parade section over here and on visual effects drag the post process volume in the details panel we can search for infinite and enable the infinite extent and now under exposure we can enable the min and max exposure and this is where we can start to play around with things for example let's put everything to be at you know zero and zero and there we go you can see that now everything is way darker but it doesn't look quite right there's some this it doesn't look right so let's go ahead and start play around with the lighting I guess that point two will be a good number, but you know it's it's simply gonna be playing also with a lumen, you know, on on these buildings because right now, right, it looks very 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 you know flickery, and that's also lumen itself. You know, lumen is kind of like, you know, in dark spaces buggy. Let's say we can call it that way. So let's also go to the exponential high fog, scroll down and click on volumetric fog, and this will essentially make the level way more realistic because we are adding like fog and in this case lumen you know will basically make sure that the lighting is scattered in fog which looks like for real like five times better right um it makes it more realistic now still maybe we can make the where i say the post process a bit darker because the lights are way too bright still so let's make you know this to two or even three I think that that starts to get better. I mean, I don't know. Maybe, yeah, maybe two is a good number, you know. But it's simply also playing with values. You know, you can go ahead and play around to get what you want. But we start to get a better scene and overall, you know, kind of more of that <laughs> night GTA vibe, right? I also want to go real quick, go to the unlit mode and cover up kind of this parts over here, right, where you know the CD ends. So it looks better now you will notice that i'm cheating and putting like buildings inside of each other you know and honestly i'm just gonna do this real quick for the map i mean you can spend more time on your map this simply for the tutorial i'm giving you the directions on how you can build the city right some ideas 
but you know it's like you don't need to place that building here like I am you know exactly the same it's kind of a orientative in a way so let me go ahead and just put this over here too and also let me go ahead and kind of bring this building here and literally use duplicate it right and put this one here and that way it looks a bit better and the city is kind of filled in it's like all surrounded by buildings which is quite cool as you can see right and like I said the kind of lighting is flickering that's mainly you know because of the lumen so we can play around with the post process value on lumen right but you know I'm gonna leave that for another episode and also for you to discover right but overall some tips is that you know you can change the quality to be too you know the scene detail to be too you can see that everything illuminates you know put this 2.2 it almost goes darker but like in a bad way right so it's really playing I mean honestly the detail I think it looks good at once so I'm gonna look like this but you can change the final gather quality to be two that's gonna improve a bit you know the things it's really about you know all about the reflections and so on in this case we can leave the quality to be like two really the reflections is mm, the main thing like flickering if that makes sense so yeah two I think will be a good number and then max bounces put this to three now yes of course this will be a bit more you know consuming but it will look a bit better you know and still we haven't fixed it 100% but it has improved slightly you know so you can really play around with the values to get what you want but you can see that we are having a way better thing now don't worry about this chasing loop this is because we are missing some blueprints in our level right some of the placement and so on so don't worry we'll be fixing that as we go and build the map but we are having you know cool kind of uh, starting area let's say right for a map and move i build this in like five minutes you know so it's pretty cool what you can do with unreal nowadays now you can also go ahead and start to create the streets if you want in my case we're gonna go ahead and leave that for the next you know episode and it's gonna start to improve a lot uh, so, you know, for now, I'm gonna drag a roof and put it on this level and find the player start, which is, I don't know where it is right now. I think it's here. Where is it? I'm essentially just gonna place the player start on top of this. Oh, here it is. You know, kind of floor. So that way, it looks a bit better, you know just for now so you get the idea I'm gonna also make this a bit bigger so we can simply make the scale like three and with down and it's essentially almost like a street um, just for now right just for kind of temporarily until we have something but you get the idea we are having a massive CD boom built which is quite cool so that's it guys for this uh, lecture or episode however you want to call it uh, if you're enjoying the episode Go ahead and like the video, subscribe to my channel. We only have full access to the profiles. The link in the description over at Patreon and to YouTube members. So check that out. Join my Discord server. Follow me on socials. And now, yes, with all I said, bye bye.